Materia is everywhere in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and choosing the right materia, leveling it up, and pairing it correctly in your equipment can make or break your builds. And today I wanted to cover the best materia for the early and mid game so you can make sure that you can beat all those tough bosses. Let's go! Let me know in the comments what materia is your favorite and what builds you're running. So setting materia in your party members, weapons and equipment, etc., is really the crux of what materia is for. And each materia has like its own specific abilities or spells or other benefits based on the color that it is. So for example, green is like your magic materials. This is all of your spells and your attacks and debuffs and healing spells, that sort of thing. Blue is typically like a pairing materia in any of your equipment where you see two material slots that are linked. Typically you'll put blue in one of those because it complements the other material that it's linked to. We're going to cover some of these and how that all works. But the one thing to think about here is to make sure if you are using blue material that you're linking them correctly in those slots that are linked. You can actually see if it's active if those two slots actually highlight when you put the right material in them. Yellow material is command material that are all about your abilities. These aren't spells. They will show in your abilities section if you're trying to find them. Purple are mostly buffs, right? Like they're sort of separate to everything else. They buff your HP, your MP and some other stats, that sort of a thing. And red is all of your summons for summoning those deities in battle. We'll cover some summons first, just because I think it's an easy one just to tick off. Now, generally speaking, the best summon materials are sort of like all of them, right? Like they're all pretty good. I really like Phoenix for tougher boss fights because it does fire damage as well as heal your party when they do de-summon. Otherwise, it's sort of dependent on the weakness of the fight that you're in, right? Say if the enemy is weak to ice, then Shiva's really good, right? If they're, you know, weak to fire, we've already touched on Phoenix, etc. Really just pay attention to whatever those weaknesses are and use those ones. Just a really good one that'll sort of not steer you wrong through the whole game really is Titan because it's just straight up physical damage. Pretty much nothing is weak to physical damage, but it's very rare that something is resistant to it. It's only like certain encounters. So for the most part, you'll be able to like get past those with just using Using Titan really is like your backup if nothing say you know you don't have a summon that's weak to the enemy or you don't need heals from Phoenix and really Titan will not steer you wrong and you can get Titan like right at the start of the game because it's the first one you can get from Grasslands but let's cover the actual materia first and we'll talk about some ally materia first that will absolutely make things so much better the first is auto cast now this allows your ally to cast a spell in the linked materia slot when they're not actively controlled this is really great in Aerith, for example, to cast like healing spells or any sort of damage spells or really any of your allies if you have certain spells that you want them to trigger on their own without you having to micromanage them. Something that I think is really beneficial with these auto materials, there's a couple of these that we're going to touch on as well, is that you don't have to necessarily control your allies yourself and do things for them, which that micromanaging aspect of three party members can sometimes be a little bit cumbersome if you're just trying to like stay in the flow of the fight. It really takes you out of that moment when you're trying to like figure out what you're going to do with these ATB and that will actually do it sort of for you, especially if you know exactly what you want them to do. So I always found autocast to be really valuable, especially on Aerith in just like a healing slot. So they'd always keep cloud healed and I don't have to worry about it or dealing damage as well if you wanted them to autocast that sort of stuff. Autocast material you can get super early in the game from Chadley in his Grasslands shop. So you can grab it from there. There is a couple of these as well. So auto weapon material is another one. Now what this one does is it will allow your allies to automatically cast their weapon abilities. Now, these are the weapon abilities that you have slotted in like their combat settings. There's like a section there. You can manually change these if you want to. If you want them to cast specific things or not cast specific things, you can change it there. But for the most part, this is great for that exact same reason. For those characters that aren't like Aerith, that are very spell dominant and they're more, say, weapon ability dominant, you can then have them auto cast these abilities. Cat Sith is a good one, right? Because they can summon the Moogle automatically without you having to like make them actually do that in combat. This materia comes from Chadley's Coral Region Shop. And then the last in this auto category is the auto unique ability, which will allow your allies to cast their unique abilities, which is like that triangle ability on their own. For Tifa, this is different. And this is unbridled strength that she will cast in that space. And I actually think this is the reason why you should put this on Tifa is because that unbridled strength makes her just so much more dominant in combat and allowing her to automatically cast that and just like keep that active is really beneficial. This is another 
one you can get from the grassland shop for Chadley, but it's less beneficial than the other two, but I still thought it was worth pointing out. And then potentially my favorite materia in the entire game is the next one, and that is the enemy skill materia. Now this allows you to cast enemy skills. You initially start with Sonic Boom, which is great on its own. It's a wind attack that gives you bravery and faith, which increases your attack power and your magic attack power respectively. But you can actually buff this even further with additional skills by completing the challenges that Chadley gives you in each of the regions. The second one that gives you Plasma Discharge. Plasma Discharge itself is an amazing skill that anytime you get an ATB, you'll trigger like a lightning explosion and it will just damage everything around you, which is really great and beneficial in tons of encounters because there's enemies all around you just dealing that extra damage. And you can expand this even further with additional enemy skills as you progress through the game. The other benefit to the enemy skill materia is that as you level it up, it also gives you passive bonuses to those characters, right? So in this example here, my enemy skill material is at level four right now. It's giving me extra max HP, max MP and strength. And then at level five, it'll also give me magic, right? So it's giving you access to skills you wouldn't typically have access to, which are super valuable to have. Plus it's giving you passive bonuses. Can't go wrong with putting the enemy skill material on cloud, using these abilities and even just for the passive bonuses, right? Like it's just super valuable to have. Now you get the enemy skill material itself from Chadley as well, funnily enough. Chadley gives you basically all the best material in the game, just like for fun fact. But next we have another one, which is great on cloud and that's first strike. First strike will fill your ATB bar for the most part. Like once you've actually maxed this out, it pretty much will at the start of every encounter. Now this is great because it allows you to just get an attack off right at the start of every encounter to either match the enemy's weaknesses and pressure them or even just cast assess. Like for the most part, I actually just use this to just cast assess, right? Because the thing with assess is that you need a ATB to cast it. And for the most part, when you come across new enemies, you want to know what their weaknesses are, what their strengths are, etc. And just having this equipped and then just being able to quickly flow it into assess right at the start of the encounter, you go, all right, this is what they're weak to. This is what they got, blah, blah, blah. And then you can just like deal with that encounter. But moving on to helping you level up this materia is the AP up. Now the AP up doubles the amount of AP earned in battle for the materia that it is paired with. This is another one of those pairing ones. You've got to make sure that it's linked correctly in your equipment. You can't just like throw it on. You've got to make sure it's highlighted correctly and it will only help with that specific materia that it is linked to. Now you can get this, I believe you can get one of them in chapter three in the Mithril mine somewhere, but you can also get them from Chadley as well. Like you can get a couple from him sort of further down the game around the coral area, I believe as well. Now, these are great because they help you level up that material. So something like say the enemy skill material, if you wanna quickly level that up to get those additional benefits, even some of the stuff that like we talked about earlier with like the purple materials, your HP bonuses, your MP bonuses, those sort of things that, uh, you know, they're not the best material in the game, but the fact that you can level these pretty quickly by having this equipped and then you're getting say like a 30% HP increase just by having this, it helps you get that materials level up higher so you can get those high level benefits quicker than without actually having this equipped. Now you can even put this in like your allies slots, right? Like if you don't want to use this on clouds, you can just like put them in your allies slots, link it with the material that you want to level up and actually use on a different character. Just like let it passively grow and then you can switch it up and move it into something that you want to do there. Another favorite of mine for cloud is the elemental materia. So this deals elemental damage with the weapon attack when paired with the element materia that it is linked to, right? So essentially what this is, is in another linking one that you have to put an item in the additional slot. In this example here, I've linked it with fire and blizzard. So my sword now will do both fire and ice damage on top of its physical damage, right? Now it's not going to do like a full amount of damage depending on the level of the elemental. It'll only do a certain percentage of additional damage, right? You can see that as it breaks down. Obviously there's another one you wanna level up for the additional benefits, but really this is good because you can essentially hit enemies for weakness just with your standard attacks, just like across the board because like I've talked about this in other videos, but fire and especially ice as well, but fire is just so common as a weakness for all of the enemies in Rebirth and having this equipped and being able to just consistently deal fire damage with your sword, you can't go wrong with that. And then if you come across enemies that are, you know, weak to lightning or wind or what have you, you can switch up that linked material. You can still use that as a spell, but on top of that, your sword will just naturally do that damage type as well. This is another one that comes from Chadley from the Junon battle intel. So once you get to that region, complete some stuff there, you'll be able to pick this one up makes such a difference highly recommend putting that on cloud one 
one more really good one isn't for cloud, but you can put it on cloud, but it's really good for spell casters like Aerith and that is Magnify. Now this expands your spells to target multiple enemies or allies for its specific linked spells. Now this is great to put those combo ones on there like that allow you to cast multiple spells so you can get the most bang for your buck from this. So this is great if you, in most encounters, you run across enemies that have the same weakness and you can actually hit all of them with this spell. It won't deal max damage to all of them, but you still get that weakness trigger on all of them to pressure them, deal damage, whittle them down, all that really good stuff. It's a really great combo for magic builds like with an Aerith or a Cloud if you want to take him in that direction or any of the other characters to deal damage in that spell range with magic damage to everyone as well. So, But there is some amazing ones late game as well, but I wanted to focus on the early game stuff here. Like obviously time and those haste mechanics that can increase your ATB generation are good as well, but I might save those for like specific party member builds and like Cloud builds and stuff. If you want to see me do those, let me know in the comments. But but thank you guys for watching this video till the end. Thank you to our members for supporting the channel. My name is Norza and I hope you have a great day.